good job. That was why I was back with another video. Same day, different vlog. We are now at a different event. Same day, different event too. Headed to the Morehouse Film Festival. My cousin is participating in. And yeah, man, about to go see what that's about. The screening is probably starting now, so we're running a little bit late. But just came from the Vest Fest. About to go in here to see what the vibes are. Stay tuned. some of those programs because they not only give you exposure, but you usually get mentors and access to their programming and their classes through it. I'd also suggest trying to find really small independent producers so you can learn the craft along with them. It's hard to get into a big place or, you know, to start as a producer with no financing and figure it out. So if you get into those small places with other producers who are similarly suited, then um, you know, I think there's a lot of learning there. Thank you both. Become lawyers and doctors. You guys are made for reporters. There was nobody there giving me, say, hey, you want to be a doctor? You want to be a lawyer? Because no one talked to me that way. So I was unimportant. Back in the early 60s, I got a scholarship to Kansas State, and I had a young lady helping me with my studies. One night we were doing homework, and she wanted to be romantic. And I told her, well, we can't be romantic because we're friends. So she said, well, if we don't get romantic, I'm gonna tell everybody you raped me. And I said, you know what? I, I, don't, I don't need to be here. So I left and I went back to my room. My first thought was, Emma Till was my cousin. He was murdered and lynched out in Mississippi. Later that night, I hear a lot of noise and people running and screaming. So I hear under the bed because I mean, my heart was beating 150 miles a minute. And I think they're gonna come and they're gonna let me because she told I raped her. And after all the noise subsided, I left the dorm and walked to the bus stop. And I just left it at that. Thing it was only 0.6 miles. I'll text you. Bye. Damn, man. So we just went to Caribbean Delight in well, fucking Atlanta. And this is about the weakest Jamaican food I ever seen. <laughs> Cabbage don't got no carrots. The corn don't look seasoned. We gonna see how it hit. It ain't bad, but huh? I said it ain't bad. It's alright, but. I was expecting more. Shit crazy. 
But yeah, man. This is the second spot we went to. Alright man, <clears throat> another bathroom update, rocking the hoodie that I picked up today from Invest Fest, yeah he, yeah he, uh -huh. but um, yeah man, like, this Morehouse John, it's cool and all, it's alright, but bro, these screens long as shit, like they could have spaced this shit out. In multiple days or had like multiple rooms where they had the screenings and stuff but then we got one room i could have stayed at invest fest a little bit longer because i was just sitting there for a while and then after the film my cousin's film three black mice went on we got up and went to get some food as you just saw the food was mid like the food wasn't even great that was like the weakest jamaican Caribbean food i ever had like no bullshit but yeah, I just wanted to um, tell y'all that and everything. Um, I don't really know where this vlog is going anymore. Uh, I'm about to pop back out there, talk to Imani a little bit real quick, and then probably end it off here. And if I do anything tonight, I'll do another night like vlog. But that is... But this is my last night here. I'll leave around like 4.30 tomorrow. And... Yeah, my man's Trappers is going to take me to the um, airport tomorrow, so, yeah. The, the star of the night. Hello, my sweet darling. So what did you think so far? What's your take? Um, Honest opinions. Or something. I don't know what. They're clapping. Documentary short. The winner is in honor of the Purple Heart. And our narrative short winner. Drum roll. Three blind vibes. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Angel. You were in it. 
Congrats. No, y'all reshot my scene. Y'all reshot my extra uh, uh, scene. Uh, you what you here. mean? Uh, you got me. You got me in the final cut. This one, this one, oh, okay, this okay, okay. All right. I didn't know that. I'm not in charge of that, actually. Uh, well, but I'm sure you got you. You can put in a word. Put yeah. in a word. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I know the I, boss. You know. Tell them I'll have a problem if I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Look at You have to call the other children. You want to face to another children? Post your work? I can't post it. What? Your work? I can't post about any of this. Yeah, hold up. Did we get a picture in front of this right here? Why? Kids. Kimani? Everyone? <laughs> no, we didn't. Because um, some child actor wow. can't promote anything like that. Wild, right? But it's your stuff. Yeah, but I'm sad. So so. She won't be in solidarity. I might get, I could get blacklisted. For what? If I, if I go against the guidelines. And do what though? Post, post, oh, promoting. promoting. You can't promote your own? I can't stuff. promote, no, that's why yeah, she that, never posted that's, nothing. That's how they would, that's one of the things that they did to hurt the studios, right? So you gotta figure all of those big films that they had lined up to come out, none of the actors could pushing. go out on junkets. None of the actors were going out to promote. I think the last big film they got promoted probably was the Barbie and the Oppenheimer films. Yeah. Everything sub sub subsequent to that, has been on. there was no talent available to go out and do interviews, to do those press junkets and all uh, that kind of stuff. Yeah. None of them made themselves available. And they're not going to be available until the strike is over. So that's a way the union can get at the pockets. But isn't this like an independent film? So sad, yeah. And then, you know, and then you just go They're not going to get it. But if someone looks at that, yeah, it'll be a bad look. It will be a bad look and it will be a right. If you don't right, if you don't have no skills in the closet, you ain't got no skeletons in the closet. Even if it's yeah. a little bone. Uh, oh, oh, okay. When it's time for her to get out, right? That same contract that they're picking it for right now, she's gonna benefit from it. The same contract with the same thing with the writer's guild. You know, she's gonna get paid three times on this project. So she produced it, yeah. she's acting in it, and she wrote it. Yeah. And those, all of those two or three checks are, are a function of the unions. That's crazy. No, I ain't know that. The actors couldn't even, like, damn. Even if it's an independent film, you can't even. Armani just gave me the rundown. It's wild, right? It's wild. It's wild. That's crazy. You're probably wondering why it hasn't been. It's like, oh, that's you kind of confused when I told you I wish I could repost what you just said. Yeah. That's why. That's why. Yeah. Then she had the biggest audition of her life a week before and she couldn't take it. Sucks. That was the video. Huh? I could end the vlog off there. That was a film festival. Took the dub and yeah, learned some stuff about the strike. But other than that, I'll tap in with y'all later, man. Knew I was gonna be a millionaire. I got actually grounded and prepared to be a millionaire, so eventually I became a millionaire.